Craig, welcome to my home as I practice social distancing here today. We're talking about day two of a return to public schools here in Arkansas right during this pandemic. And as we learned in the spring, virtual learning is not a perfect process. THP 11's Mercedes McKay, in fact, spoke with parents about the victories and the hiccups they're experiencing right now. Like you said, it's only been less than 48 hours, so the parents I spoke to that are having difficulties understand there will be kinks to smooth out. I caught up with four different parents with four different experiences on how day two of virtual learning is treating their family. I just can't stress enough how seamless it has been for her. For Letitia Whitfield and her ninth grade daughter Jordan, virtual learning has gone perfectly much to their surprise. I actually did think that there were going to be challenges just because of the nature of the beast. What's been a walk in the park for the Whitfields has been a completely different story in the Gray's household. Virtual learning has been kind of a non-starter. Mother of a fifth and sixth grader, Corey Gray, says the past two days have been filled with confusion because there's no content to work with. You can click on the class, but there are no assignments, no lectures. We, d we don't know of anything she's supposed to be doing today, so she they're just hanging out at the house with my parents. On the flip side, Christine Kemener's experience falls somewhere in the middle. I figured there'd be a lot of technical issues, but um, on our end, it, there really wasn't. She says everything ran smoothly for her third grade daughter, Zaylee, except when it came to electives like gym and art. She was just really confused. She couldn't really hear what was going on, um, didn't really know what to do. Not wanting to take any chances, Russ Boggs went a different route with his four children after dealing with difficulties virtually in the spring. I wanted to be as smooth as possible, and I saw this as the smoothest route for my family. Pulling his kids out of their district and enrolling them in Arkansas Virtual Academy, which he describes as being nothing but positive. They're navigating with, with no problem. It is very kid friendly. I did ask all four parents after hearing how in person classes went at their schools if they wish they had gone that route. All of them said they believe they made the best decision for their family. For THV 11, I'm Mercedes McKay. Mercedes, thank you so much. Every parent expressed gratitude to the teachers and the school districts for just how they're navigating this very unique school year.